This theory is given by American economist Irving Fisher in his 1911 book named The Purchasing Power of Money. According to this theory, assuming all other factors constant, money supply and price have a direct relation. That means increase in money supply will lead to inflation. For example, supply of goods and services are constant, our production is constant. Only money supply increase. As a result, demand increase, price increase, eventually it will lead to inflation. M represent money supply, V represent velocity of money. What do you mean by velocity of money? Velocity of money means how many times same amount of money circulated in economy. For example, you have 100 rupees note. With this 100 rupees note, you purchased coffee and give this 100 rupees note to coffee shop keeper. With the same 100 rupees note, coffee shop keeper purchased newspaper. So you can say that same 100 rupees note circulated twice within that day. It will be called velocity of that 100 rupees note because velocity of money means how many times same amount of money circulated in economy. P price, T total amount of goods and services traded. If T and V are constant, then P and M have a direct relation. Money supply, money supply or you can say the quantity of money. Price, value of money. Price, function of money supply. As money supply increase, price also increase. But as money supply increase, value of money fall. But why as money supply increase, value of money fall? For example, money supply increase. Due to increase in money supply, prices increase. Many year ago, uh, 500 rupees have so much value, we could buy so many things from 500 rupees. But now with the same 500 rupees, we can buy very few things. That's why we used to say nowadays 500 rupees don't have so much value. That means due to inflation, value of money fall. Increase in money supply lead to inflation. Inflation lead to fall in value of money. So we can say that increase in money supply will lead to reduce in value of money. So value of money also function of money supply. After some time period, Fisher revised his equation by adding a credit of money. MV and PT are same as we earlier discussed. M dash represent credit money, V dash represent velocity of credit money. This is the other way of writing this equation. If V, V dash T are constant, then P and M have a direct relation.